Um, so for our sheet for the animation, uh, we talked about this before. Um, I didn't do a uh, demo of it during class, but I do have a video up there. Because I wasn't here last time, I just left it up, so you can just follow that one um, still. Um, the animation assignment is going to be due October 26th. There will be overlap between the animation um, assignment that we turn in and the pickup assignment. So uh, Monday of next week, I'll be here. I'll go through the pickup assignment. In that one, there's no reference for it. We're going to be just like, now that we've done a walk cycle and some poses and an uh, animation, now we have an idea of how to animate stuff. And so then we can just go ahead and just like go in there and animate it. The trick with this one is getting the character to actually interact with an item. So when I go here and I'm picking this up and I'm moving it around, I want that to feel like these two items are connected. Um, it's not difficult in Maya, but it is tricky. The more you do, um, or the, the more items you have, the trickier it gets because you have a lot of things going on. Um, but you'll see the process for it. Um, so I'll go over that next uh, week. That way, while this one's rendering, you can be working on the next one. Um, so for this animation one, you're going to uh, find a reference clip for animation of a simple movement. Remember, it should be something simple. You don't want to go crazy complex. If it's two seconds, four seconds, eight seconds, that's fine. If you're like 20 seconds, that might be a little bit long. You may want to compress it, start cutting some stuff out. That's fine too. Okay. Remember, this is reference. We're not doing the exact same movement because the exact same movement already exists. What we want to do is use that as an idea of how the hips are moving, how the feet are moving, how the legs are moving, and then we use that as our base to then enhance it. So if we do what we see in the screen and it matches, you know, keyframe for keyframe or frame for frame, it might fall flat. So then we're going to go in there and enhance it. So like in uh, Sam's case, he's doing this weightlifting guy. So he might follow the video and it looks exactly like the video, but to really make it feel like he's lifting it up, I may have to throw his hips down a lot faster and throw his body back a lot faster, right? So to get that movement of, of that motion portrayed in, into our animation, okay? So use it as reference. It doesn't have to be the exact thing. Um, so you will ensure fluid movement and enhance for readability. And then obviously good lighting and flow of the character's movement, which is kind of what I said there. Um, the rendering is up to you as to where you want to shoot this from, whatever ends up being like a good angle. So in some cases, you may want to shoot it from the front, and some you may want to shoot it from the side or a three-quarter. Um, depending on the movement, you might be below the character, you might be above the character. Make sure it has good readability to it so that as I'm looking at these, I can see what the character is doing. If we're zoomed way out, the character is super tiny, I can't see a thing. If we're zoomed way up and I can't see how their legs are bending, how their body's moving, probably not a good angle. Okay, So experiment, try to find a good spot where we can get a nice angle of the movement and it really reads well. Uh, you'll turn in your research, so your video that you're using, whether it's something you're using off YouTube, um, you can just drop the link inside the, fo the uh, folder you turn in. Um, or if you have a video, you can just submit the video also. Um, then you'll also be turning in your movie of the animation at 960 by 540, 24 frames a second, and 10 points. Okay, Pretty straightforward on the rest of that. That's pretty much standard for all the assignments we do. Any questions on the sheet? No. Okay. Um, after we do the animation of this, and then we do the pickup assignment, then we're going to get into rigging. In the rigging, we're going to take a mechanical item and rig it, and then animate it. Then we'll do another one where it's a soft body, rig it, and animate it. And those will be our last two assignments. So we're even though we have eight weeks left of class or seven weeks left of class, um, is the last few assignments are pretty big. Questions?